the, the current situation is, is a, a dire one. My countrymen are, men and women, are taking their own lives. Far more than died in combat. And for us, it's unacceptable. I'm Kirk Catherwood. My name is Gretchen Catherwood. I am the Gold Star mother of Lance Corporal Alec E. Catherwood. I am dedicating the rest of my life to raising money and running Dark Horse Lodge. This is for combat veterans of every branch of service from every war and conflict, men, women of every age who will be able to come together and share experiences, just a safe place for them to communicate with others and, and give them a place to go fishing on Kentucky Lake and enjoy activities in the West Tennessee area. After Alec was killed, uh, we were at the remembrance ceremony and, and we saw uh, the looks in those men's eyes. We could see that the, the pain that they felt and we definitely noticed that there was communication going on between the Marines that was not including the family members. One of them actually said, this is the first time I've been able to talk about that day. And I thought, okay, what if Alec had come home? What would he have faced? Who would have been there for him? So right then was the affirmation I needed. I realized since I can't do this for Alec anymore, what can I do for those who did come home? We know as humans that it's, it's good to connect with one another, but you go there with ideals of, uh, you know, your flag and independence and freedom, and, and it becomes the guy next to you. Most combat veterans d do not want to speak with somebody that hasn't traveled in their boots, so uh, Gretchen's idea for Dark Horse Lodge is, is right on the mark for me as a combat veteran when the things start flying over your head and then back over the other way, it becomes, uh, I just wanna get my buddy home. They've had to do things that they don't want other people to know about, and we're not doing enough when they get home. It's like knocking your head against the wall trying to deal with the VA, and so many of these veterans, they're simply given drugs, they're given prescriptions and sent on their way. We're there when they're in, when they're active duty, but when they get out, is when I believe they need the most care and they need the most benefits and that's where we are falling so short of the mark in our country. We think they're better off together um, than, than apart. Tim was with the Army National Guard in 2005, a dear, dear friend of our son. And after coming home from Iraq and suffering the effects of some pretty severe PTSD, had taken his life on Thanksgiving Day. Um, Tim was far too young. He had far too much promise. Because he took his life on Thanksgiving Day, we, we know that many celebrations in our country and others are had over food. It will bring people together and learn about him and each other. Bowman Hall is after Tim, and we couldn't think of a better way to honor him and his family. Welcome to Bowman Hall. This is Dark Horse Lodge's pride and joy thus far. This is our progress. This is what we are so excited about. In the mornings after breakfast, our guests will come to our what we call our fishing store and grab their bait and tackle and gear that they will use throughout the day out on the lake. In this room here, this is our dining room. This is the main deal. This is where we will have breakfast and dinner. Around the cabin outside, we will have a deck that runs the length of the building here and the width of the building here, overlooking the beautiful woods and the guest cabins that are right in front of this building. We really, really, really are super excited to begin this journey. I see veterans sitting on the deck, laughing, enjoying each other's company. I see caregivers that will have a place in the staff cabins. We will be building bridges going across the streams. We will be putting in trails that will go back to the beautiful woods. And we're just getting started. Aside from the other activities in the lodge, I could drown a worm once in a while <laughs> with the boys on a boat. We'll enjoy many, many good times, I'm sure. We've heard so many times from veterans saying, you know what? we could use 10 of these in every state. We take calls, which let me tell you is one of the most heartbreaking things I've experienced to date, is to get a phone call from a woman who is in tears saying, how do I make reservations for my husband? Because he needs this really bad. Or I get a message through Facebook from a veteran who says, how do I make reservations? Cause man, I could really use this. 
and I have to tell those people no, that is heartbreaking. And there's a hole in my heart that will never be filled up. But to think that that hole can get bigger is almost impossible. But when I take those phone calls, that hole gets a little bit bigger because we are not able to help that person just yet. We're gonna get there. But how long is it gonna take us to get there and who is gonna suffer in the meantime? One day, we're gonna be super excited to be able to say yes. We thank you so much for your time and watching and listening and learning about Dark Horse Lodge. We need your help. We need your support. You can have a part of your heart at Dark Horse Lodge that will really tell our veterans that you care. It's not the Catherine Wood, it's the, the fact that America cares. And you're invited to Springville, Tennessee to, to anytime you want to look at the lodge, know what's there, know we're building it. Any donation is greatly appreciated. It's citizens make up the Republic and we're losing 20 citizens a day. Consider that for a moment, won't you?